George, you're about to go on the show. You're nervous? You're pumped? Oh, the adrenaline nervous. going? Ding, ding, ding. Packed house, two and a half thousand people. Oh, theme no. tunes going. What are we cooking? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Give me something. Uh, Give me a bit of lamb or something. And Matt, come here. Matt's going to make a guest appearance, yeah, Secret on the show. Surprise, we can't be separated any longer. I, I, I feel nervous standing in this order because that's the wrong order to stand, isn't it? <laughs> you go. Just go, just go. No, no, you go. No, on no, first. you no, go. No, too no, many no, 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 I'll go. <laughs> I do it all the time. I get so nervous. What it is is he's becoming an old Greek man. Gary and George are on stage. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them, but first, check out these beautiful R.M. Williams Australian booths. I mean, Gary obviously loves, Gary loves butter, anything fatty. Gary loves beer, um, and Gary loves pudding. Those are the, people, the three rules. You're going to cook for Gary, those are the three things you need. George loves anything Greek. George hates chilli, hates chilli. A little bit of chilli, and his whole head becomes like a sprinkler, and it's going bup, 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 with water all over it. He does love to mangle a word. We call him Mr. Malaprop because he loves to take a word, like baffle, for example. I'm baffled by this dish. And George's words will come out as, I'm basled by the dish. He'll, he'll ask about, he'll talk about, uh, he'll talk about gnocchi, billowing gnocchi, but he'll say, that gnocchi is really bellowing. And you go, Georgie, mate. And then obviously there's, there's the manners. George's manners are fantastic and impeccable. And I'm delighted to say he's no longer eating off his knife, which is very impressive. And I believe you can put that out of me and Gary, giving him some good, strong advice. He's in town. You know Matt, <laughs> everyone know Matt Preston? Yeah. Now, he's the food critic. He's the food critic. Um, anyway, he's in town, so we snuck into his room this morning <laughs> for a gag, and we stole his cravat! <laughs> How good's that? So anyone want a cravat? Hey? Yeah? No, you need a wider neck, ma'am. You can always, okay. you can, t hey, you can tell it's Matt because it's normally got food on it. Yeah, it's got Oh, there food, you go. And it's Look, got a breakfast. really, it's got a funny... <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Give me back, Philip. <laughs> Bad Greek boy. Right. Well, hey, mate. Boy. I'm good, welcome. Mate. welcome. Matt welcome. Preston, he needs some encouragement. Come yeah. on. I'm, I'm just going to... Right. We're just going to check the Gary's fryers on because he's had a few problems with this. I, I do all the technical stuff on the show. Check the ovens, check the fryers. Yeah. You know, carry George's bag. It's on. Check the oven. That's on. Because we've got guys that do this for us now. They wash yeah. up for us, they turn Apparently, ovens on for us. That's me, isn't it? Right. The only thing Matt, we have to do is eat. Sit down on the wobbly table. Take a seat. Sit down on the wobbly table. <laughs> he reviewed my restaurant, the Maramblong Boathouse, and said he was given a wobbly table. Did I do that on purpose? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, George, great. what are you well, cooking? Well, listen, I think what we'll do, I'll do two dishes, you do two dishes. I'm going to do two dishes straight out of my new restaurant called Hellenic Republic. So, really classic stuff, egg and lemon soup, beautiful, warm, makes me feel really good. And I'm going to make a real Greek souvlaki. Ooh. 